Yeah. The safety question is not as great as people think. Yes, we have requirements and in the standard for the fingers, the 8 millimeter and the 25 and the 23 millimeter and the 9 millimeter, all these questions, but it doesn't matter. If you have, for example, a post, a wooden post in the ground and you have this crack in, comes by growing, by the reason, around the neutral face, this is the power, was too strong, this crack maybe has a not complying size, what the requirement and the standard is. But what could happen? The children will give the finger in, and if they fall, they will pull the finger out. If they, for example, running around the post, and they make this, then the finger may come as well in, but then the hand claps around, and no danger for the first part of the top of the finger will happen, by the reason it's taken by the whole hand, the power. So, as well running around the post, there is no safety question, as well standing and falling, no safety question, what is not acceptable. The risk could be if there is a crack like this in a construction wooden part opened to the sky. This reason maybe is by if they give the finger in and not failing backwards, backwards again this effect is. But if they fall against the, how you say this, uh, direction of this, how you say this? <laughs> if the finger is this way, no danger. If the finger is loaded in this way, our is the danger. So we have a difference not in standing pose, but in horizontal pose. People can sit around and will fall in front direction, then the fingers will be loaded in a not acceptable way.